Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would show you my new room, which still has some way to go, um, but I thought I would just film this late at night tonight just so that you could get a bit of a budget friendly idea as to how you can decorate your room um, on a low budget. So this is currently my room and it feels actually now I'm looking at it, it feels quite uh, cluttered but it's absolutely not. It's quite a big room so I'm really really lucky. So I'm going to take you through all of this today section by section and just explain to you where I got bits and bobs from, where I got some ideas from um, and general themes. But also, can we just take a second to appreciate how cute Pup looks? Oh my god, so cute. So this is sort of my filming area. Look at the sort of steam coming off the tea. Oh my god, does that not just make you want a cup of tea? Um, I think I'm going to go and put the kettle on. Um, but this is my little filming desk slash office uh, because I do need a work area for my work. But of course I want to make it look as decorative as possible. So the thing that I love here is this painting from a friend that kindly did this for me and it is so so beautiful it's of my dog Dottie who lives with my parents and the artwork is just phenomenal I'll leave her link down below I also got this cushion from the range the other day for about six pounds and then also the same fluffy blanket too now this I can't remember where this was from I think it was FY um, but yeah I love this cactus painting and I also used some clips from Amazon just to clip these up because frankly were like 70 pounds I was like no thank you uh, so I got that little poster clip for about 20 pounds and I also got this plant here from Amazon too so here's a little snap of all my dirty brushes which really do need cleaning um, but I love this plant from Amazon and then just a few bits and bobs from the range as well these seashells from Aroma from the range next time you go there please smell it so I'm now going to take you through on top of my Ikea drawers um, firstly I've lit this candle today and it's from Dunalm oh my god it smells so so good again you need to give this a sniff it is amazing so I'm going to take you through the top section of my makeup um, on the left hand side I have all like my well sort of a select few of my liquid lipsticks but in here I have a lot of eye makeup so eyebrows, eyeliner, um, eye pencils, mascara that sort of thing just because I like going to one place instead of dotting it all around the area um, but it's also where I keep my lip liners too and then on this here I actually this is called a leaflet um, holder it's like an acrylic leaflet holder but it just fits like all my most used palettes in here so so well and it just means that I can swap and change this from my eyeshadow palette drawer in my Ikea drawers. So I probably should have cleaned each and every one of my Ikea drawers. This is what I mean, I'm not anywhere near finished. There's a few bits and bobs I really need to give sort of a deep clean. Um, but all in here is sort of like my main makeup. So um, drugstore foundations, high-end foundations, bronzers, highlight, everything. All of my face products are in here. Um, and this is the eyeshadow drawer that I switch up with the leaflet holder. Um, so here are a few plants, one of them died. Um, I have my oil diffuser running all the time and I hand make these and I'll leave a link below as to where I get the oils from. Um, but in here is another sort of eye acrylic uh, set for all of my eyeshadows, pigments, that sort of thing. And I love this drawer. It is so nostalgic for me because I love getting MAC collections. Um, and also my Helen E pigments. My God, these are amazing. If you have not got these, please do. Um, I will link a video down below where I used one of the glitters. But yeah, and then my most treasured drawers at the bottom, which are my MAC lipsticks, which are also super nostalgic for me. So on the right-hand side of my room, I just have this... Um, I don't know what you, a unit I guess, um, these are from the range, I love this paper hold, is it, no, paper weight, not paper holder, um, all of this is from the range by the way, I love the range so much, but I got this whole unit, um, from the tip for like five pounds and whilst it doesn't match my Ikea drawers, um, it's still white wood and 
yeah it makes a nice little showcase so I think I also got this trinket box from the range as well they're not real eyelashes by the way um, it's like a print and then I also got these cactuses or is it cacti from B&Q a few bits and bobs of my hair stuff uh, which I keep in these really nice back baskets from Ikea maybe uh, so yeah and then moving on top of that I've got three frames which are all from I think it's called Dezino now I was gifted these a long long time ago but they have some of the best prints and frames available uh, but again if you're going for a really large print then I absolutely would grab one of those uh, poster holders because they are so much better um, but the wallpaper here it will probably split your decisions a bit like Marmite, but I love glitter and I just love the stripes and I thought it was perfect for my beauty room. So in the corner, now you'll notice those splotches, um, that's actually the carpet. We've literally just laid this floor in tonight and I was so excited to film. So just ignore where the previous owners had glued the carpet. Um, so yeah, lanterns are from B&M. This flooring, I've just got this. It was a whole stretch of vinyl, 20 meters squared for about a hundred pounds. So, and it's transformed my room. It's amazing. We had to get rid of the carpet because um, my dog Pepper had peed everywhere. So I have this little clothes rail from Argos. This was about 15 pounds, very inexpensive. And I just keep my main jackets here uh, because my wardrobe really needs clearing out, but it just adds like a little bit extra to the room. Um, on the side of it, you'll notice there's a Christmas dog jumper. I'm that person. Um, and then I got this uh, really fantastic wall hanging from B&M with all the little uh, decorative parts from B&M as well for like £15 all in and then very lastly I'm obsessed with the Joker. I'm not entirely too sure why I felt compelled to have it on my wall but I feel like this whole room is just a collection of my personality so I thought that I would put this up as well. So this is a little view of my room. Um, it's a really spacious room with two really wonderful beams on top as well which you'll see shortly. Um, but this room just feels so homely to me and there's I haven't filled it with any expensive stuff like the flooring was inexpensive for flooring. Um, the frame were kindly gifted but again they are quite inexpensive the mirror from ikea the desk and the drawers from ikea too again a 15 pound hand uh, handrail oh my god clothes rail from argos the lanterns were all under 10 pounds um, and also i forgot to mention my chair i'll link it down below i had so many questions about my chair um that was probably the most expensive part but it is so comfy um the ceiling lights are from B and Q and I got them for I think £30 each in the sale which is just incredible. So I will leave as many details down below as I possibly can of some of the main features of this room. Um, it was very inexpensive and I love it. So thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in my next video. Bye!